Good. We have an interesting morning before us. Um, we'll have two um, issues on the agenda. First, uh, we will be discussing um, Central Africa. Um, we are very happy that there was an uh, agreement between the government and these 14 groups. And uh, what is, um, of course, now very important is that there is uh, implementation. Um, the people have been suffering in the country a lot, and it continues. And uh, we have this hope now with this agreement, but it's a complicated agreement, and everything has to be done so that it's really implemented. And then um, we have on... Um, uh, together with the U.S., France, and we, we asked for a briefing on Haiti because, um, as you know, there is a U.N. presence, and um, what is um, going on in Haiti is worrisome. We are seeing these demonstrations, and uh, we have to see um, and, and encourage, um, of course, that, that on a democratic way things calm down, and, uh, again, the fate of the people is in the, in the center of our, our interest. So that's on the agenda today, this morning. Quick follow-up just on Haiti. The Minister's uh, mandate renewal happens during your joint presidency, I think. Yes. Can I ask, is, it, is the, the um, peacekeeping presence, is it gone as of October? Is that a done deal? Or as Jean-Pierre Lacroix talks about this new chapter, could, yes. could a peacekeeping presence remain in the country, especially based on what we've seen in the last few years? Well, um, I'm against um, saying today what we're going to do in April or later in the year. Um, we have to make our f um, future action dependent on the actual situation on the ground. So we're looking forward to the briefing and then what we do with the mission, how we um, continue, what dimension, what direction this mission will have, we'll decide later. Ambassador on Venezuela, Juan Guaido, said today he's going to make his way to the border with some trucks to try to get the aid in. Are you concerned that this might turn violent? Do you think the council should step in? I'm very concerned about the situation in Venezuela. I'm um, extremely concerned when you look at the um, humanitarian situation, when you see how many people have fled the country, the situation with regard to the fate of the people in there. So all humanitarian aid um, has to come in as possible, and I'm totally against any politicization of this. Okay? Thank, Thank you. you.